this thing to be so fun. Maker's Leather Supply has a really good video on unboxing and assembling of this. Better than what I'm doing here. So, Check out all the stuff that came with it. Let's see what we got. Some another machine co. A oh, just a catalog. This must be for all the uh, stuff on the electronic readout for it. Learn. Okay, bobbin winding. That's very cool. Nice pictures. Very cool. Work platform assembly and instruction manual. All right, paperwork, whatever. Let's see. All right, bag of goodies. My swag bag. That is, that is our material guide. Very cool. All right. Extra long screwdriver. Thread they give you. Goodie bag with any good goodie bag. All right. A pair of scissors. Those are always good. Extra bobbins. What is this? A magnetic gauge. A. Oh, okay. I'm going to be using that instead of this. That's the material guide. All right, cool. And the goodie bag within the goodie bag. And more bobbins. Tools. Just in case you didn't have them. Okay, cool. Uh, there's your needles. All right. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. All right. This is a... Cobra Class 26 uh, from the Leather Machine Company, um, Tandy Pro branded. Uh, this is something I've, I've actually been saving up for for a little while, and I hadn't actually intended to buy one this soon, but 
Uh, I found out a couple days before that uh, I guess the leather machine company had done a cross promotion event with Tandy. Uh, they had shipped in a whole bunch of machines to their headquarters here in Fort Worth and were demoing them. Uh, you could basically go up there and try any machine you wanted that they sold and if you bought one of the sewing machines it came with a free uh, drop down guide and one of their uh, flat top the workbenches um, which is pretty cool. I still have my Tipman Boss uh, it's over there underneath the shelf which is one of the cool things about the Tipman Boss is that when you're done with it you can just throw it somewhere out of the way um, this thing required me to completely redo my my workshop here um, just because it's so massive anyways um, so uh, I'm gonna just kind of torture test it here I'm gonna sew some sew some thin stuff I'm gonna see how thick I can uh, run on it according to the specs it should pretty much sew 95% of anything that I need to uh, to sew uh, but I'm going to test that out right now. Some of that two ounce Italian leather that I made my bike bag with. Um, just turn that. And let me see. Okay, I got it down as small stitches it'll make. Pretty good. Both the front and the back. So if you're anything like me, um, you can't really justify the expense of having multiple machines. Um, I, I had to choose a machine that uh, will do the stuff that I want to do and do the stuff that I'm currently doing, at least most of it. Um, so when I was doing my research for the class 26 uh, one thing I kept hearing over and over again that this is purely a lightweight machine light to medium weight machine and that got down to the point where what does light to medium weight machine I know what the specs are what it says the max uh, it'll do but um, you know what if you occasionally need to go over that uh, so what I typically work on is stuff like this. It'll be a, you know, a piece of nine to ten ounce veg tan leather with, uh, you know, two to four ounce liner material of some sort. And I actually brought this up with me to Tandy so the leather machine guys could could demo this machine on this. And I asked him. I said, Hey guys, will this class twenty six do this? And he's, he looked at me like I was joking. I was like, Dude, it, it'll do that all day long. Uh, you know, the the guys up there spoke very highly of this machine. He said if they could only choose one machine, it would be this particular one. This is their favorite machine. Um, you know, it might be a sales pitch, but that's actually something I've heard other people say. So, uh, all right, so, so I got my top up here. And again, uh, I'm not doing this to look pretty. Uh, I'm absolutely new at this guys so bear with me if I'm not using the wrong technique if I'm doing something wrong please yell at me um, leave a comment something uh, just make sure to subscribe while you're doing it all right so let's do this and again yep and again all right so let's do this I made the stitches as wide as possible. All right, so that passes that test. Yes, I know these stitches are super incredibly wide. But again, I did that for a reason. Let's cut this, all right. All right, so that is, da -da -da. Uh, I'm going to do this in millimeters, so that's 5.10 millimeters of leather there. Well, 
What if I need to do a little bit thicker? Okay. Well, let's see. Again, this machine is should do small stuff, lightweight stuff, really well. But what if I needed to do something thicker? All right. Let's put another ten ounce. Uh, let's put another ten ounce layer on there top of what we just did. Again, not trying to win wards for nice stitches here. Let's turn this around so you can see that better. Right. Okay. Uh, the, the only times I'm going to be sewing anything this thick would be like sewing billets uh, to, uh, to lined cartridge belts or something like that. So, cross my fingers. Hopefully, there you go. I'm just letting it run. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, it handled that just fine. So that is approximately let's see nine millimeters. This piece I was working with. How about another piece of ten ounce? Let's see if I can fit this underneath here. Come on, how high will you go? Come on. It's really cramming in there. Alright, we'll go thicker. All right, so we've we've seen its limits. Nope. Okay, I didn't like that. That's fine. I am pretty much never going to be sewing anything that thick. This is a little bit thinner. All right. Well, you do this. So, oh, and it snapped it. That might just mean I'm not pulling it out right, though. All right. So, you guys uh, who are experts can yell at me now and leave a bunch of comments for me. But it was just kind of a torture test to see what the max would max would do, which is about ten millimeters. Over a little over. So there's that. And that is actually pretty good. Pieces of 10 ounce together. Material guide. Let's try that. Um. <laughs> Anyways, I'm still learning on this. Uh, like I said, this was a bit of a torture test video for uh, thickness. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I will keep the videos coming. Thanks.